Okay, so welcome back to a new video, a continuation in real life, but a new video for you guys. Aptly named Box, PS3 slash 4 games. I'm pretty sure there's just a single PS4 game in here, but I'm just going to crack this open a little bit. I'm going to have a little take one of Idiot Tries to Open Box. It's, it's always fantastic when something comes in a, a black bin bag like this, and I can feel straight away, this is only like six or eight games. Um, I can feel straight away that it is a very structurally rigid box underneath. Rigid? Rigidity? I don't know. Um, <laughs> good God. I don't have high hopes for this. Um, but I'm going to open it up. And we're going to take it from there. I'm going to grab the camera again in a second. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Right, so let's get some context. Occasionally I have a look on my save searches on eBay, things like PS3 games, Xbox 360 games, consoles, alien figures, whatever it might be, occasionally I have a look. I have not got a large amount of disposable income, I don't have a huge amount of time to be scouring Vinted and eBay and the likes for anything that's cheap, but I've got a few of these searches set up where I put newly listed in, UK only, buy it now, cause I'm not going to be there for one of the auction finishes, so what's the point? And I'll just have a quick scan through, and if something's a good deal then I might treat myself you know once a month kind of thing this was under the PS3 I think newly listed the top listing there and it was like £20 and 8p it wasn't an auction but it was a buy it now as well with a £20 and 8p plus some 2 95 delivery and I looked at it and I thought okay I'll have a look on CEX as I do just to see what's the voucher what do they what do they ask for there's nothing here which is on my list that I desperately desperately want or need but there's a few titles, I'm like, okay, there's a little bit of value in that, I think. I might be able to trade a few bits and pieces in for voucher and then get something out of it for reduced price or for possibly for free. So that's how I tend to work these things. Let's just have a quick look through what I got for my, um, in total, about £23, I guess. Uh, just having grid from the PS3 is not a good opening one because that's like a pound. <laughs> I think I've got it on for 360 anyway, which is going to always be the superior a console to have things on, despite the fact that PS3 always seems a bit classy or something. Okay, okay. And while I'm a little bit, the packaging one is a bit of a, is a little bit of a sign that things might not go particularly well. This was this all listed under very good condition. Very good condition to me means complete, barely any mark on the disc, and it's all going to be, well, very good condition. Funny enough, no damage at all. Um, it wasn't until after I bought this or through the buying process that I saw that the sellers got about 90% feedback on eBay. That's, you know, it's pretty easy to have high feedback score. They weren't a small seller. We're talking the thousands. They've got about 90%. And I think it's basically just a house clearance. There were no detailed photos. It was a photo of games laid out flat and then a few up close of the games laid out flat. No, no opening up, no further description. It's just PS3 slash 4 games. And that was it. So I was like, okay, I'm taking a chance here, but ultimately if, if I kick up a fuss, then I can get them taken back, which I don't think I've ever taken, done before, and they're probably all going to be fine. Meh. Cry challenge, okay, cool. I think that's probably a few quid in CEX, but again, it's, it's got no real, real say, resale value or worth to it. Another meh title. Cloud of a chance of meatballs. I expect it's probably worth a bit more than 360. It's not something which is just like 50p. I think this is £6 on PS3 with £4 voucher. And I have no inclination to play it. And further to my introduction video, I cannot just hoard things for the sake of going, oh, that's got a bit of value to it. I'm going to keep that. I'm probably never going to play it. I never watched the film. I don't have any idea if it's good. And so I will probably trade that in. Whilst on that, let's actually have a look to see if it's any good. I said it just looks absolutely fine. There's no damage to it. It's probably a couple of light scratches, but I don't think my local's going to have any issues in taking that. There's no damage to the top at all. Ugh, what a disgusting old case. Pretty sick it's Sims 3 and PS3. Again, I have no desire to play Sims on a console 
Uh, wait, ESR. Okay, that's that's not great. CX won't take that. It's not worth anything. It's probably like one pound sixty voucher. Forgive my frozen, freezing cold purple hands. That means they won't take that. I'm going to look. Uh, the others are absolutely fine. The others are Peggy. This one, I assume that means that's probably an American rating. For, I don't know if it's a reprinted cover or some nonsense. But either way, no. Is it a PAL disc? Just giving away the next one. That's probably why I bought it. I'm very experienced. No, it is an ESRB. No, actually, no way to see if that's in any way region locked. Oh, so then that's the reason. The main thing, the reason why this listing caught my eye was because of Gran Turismo Sport. The game itself got no real uh, aspiration to play. I do now have a PS4, just an original one. Um, but I saw that as limited edition. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I grew up playing Gran Turismo on the PS2, and I loved it. I just, that's three and four, probably some of my biggest games. Um, and not knowing what this might contain, I was like, cool, well, that's worth some money still. That's, I think that's a six-pound trade-in if it doesn't work out, if I don't want it at all. I believe it's more of an online racing focus, Gran Turismo, which is fine. I've seen plenty of videos on it. Um, whether it's still a thing, now that GT7's probably been out for years, I have no idea. But I thought, oh, there's a chance I might be still looking at that might be something cool, and that this is one of the things that I might want to get for a reduced price. Um, CEX still charge £8 for this, just for the, the game. Uh, essentially, I took a chance, thinking this might be a cardboard box slash sleeve, because you couldn't really tell. I could just see this. It's a limited edition. I've already ruined it for everyone. But that looks like just a normal game to me and it's just got an insert and the insert itself as you can see is not brilliant I'm going to review this for you because I've probably been pointing it down here all the time which is really good um, yeah the box itself is not in particularly good condition it's supposed to have GT Sport itself yeah looks like we got that uh, limited edition art cards three limited edition cars 500,000 in game credit and tonight PS4 frame okay great so that's uh, that's all download stuff apart from the art cards which is something that modern day games do, unfortunately, it is what it is. That's me, great. Okay, cool. Um, what's this free game? That's, that's not that's not Gran Turismo. Okay, so nothing limited edition about this then, because there's no art cards and there's no download code that is specific to Gran Turismo. So this is basically just a copy of Gran Turismo Sport. Which is a shame, but you take your chance. I'm not going to return this just because my little tiny gamble didn't pay off and there wasn't a steel block in here. Or at least it wasn't complete with art cards or more limited edition things that essentially a few art cards and the rest of it just being random digital content. Which is not something I'm particularly here for. I'm certainly not going to play, pay an inflated price for it, that's for sure. Let's we'll forget about that for a second, it's not a particularly good edition anyway. Now, I do have this already, but I was like, okay, well, that's automatically, depending on which one's better condition, of course, I'll just trade in the other one. Um, so that's fine. So we've got 12 on it. It's not Peggy, I swear to God. <laughs> Contains moderate violence, I'm sure it does. Oh, I need to check whether that's a normal one. Is that a normal one? Or should it not have Peggy on it? A 3 7 or, you know, whatever. I'll have to check it against my one, wherever that is, if it's even in here. Uh, this is a £10 game and a £6 trade. And I think it goes for around about £8 online, to be honest. Um, so that's automatically £6 voucher back, assuming all is well. Sega Rally. Meh. I like my car racing games. There was a point on 360 where I was thinking, I'm going to get all the Forza games, all the arcade racing games, all the race car, race driver grid games, all that kind of stuff. PS3, I'm less bothered. Sega, I'm less bothered again. That just reminds me of, like... Um, Sega arcade games, and they always, they're always they always terrible growing up anyway. So, meh, probably a pound voucher on that. All that free. It was funny enough about that earlier in the year when the TV show came out. A bit less because this isn't the Game of the Year edition. I think it's now back down to about three, three fifty. So, again, we're not going to get much back on the voucher. It's a really dirty, disgusting one by looks sweat. Dorothy House. Someone's charging four pounds in a charity shop for this. Good God, someone picked it up. He's been bargain bucket until the TV show came out, essentially, especially on PS3. But we have got the, the manual, 
in some inserts. No map is what it is. No problem. That's fine. I already have Game of the Year 360. So I'm probably on Steam anyway, so no problem with that at all. Dirt, again, something that I was going to collect on the 360. The prices are higher on the 360 for most things, unfortunately. I've, I think I do have the original Dirt. I just don't have two, three showdown, whatever else there might be. So again, meh. There might only be pennies on that one. And I've somehow managed to save the last one. Well, I was thinking, well, I'll definitely add that to my collection. This one. House of the Dead Overkill Extended Cut. So I can see that it was the extended cut. And CEX charge £10 for this. The normal edition is £8. The extended cut is £10. Oh, I think it was £6 trade. Um, so let's see if this is good. Because I was thinking, I will keep this. I recently sold House of the Dead 2 and 3 on the Wii. Um... I put it in just to see what it's like anyway, just so I can take a picture of it working and everything, so I tend to do things. That looks good to me. Um, and I was like, no, where it's, I think they are, they're arcade games, and they put it on the Wii, which is a fair premise, with the fact that obviously the Wii had the motion control and stuff, and I finally got a gun for it as well. And it was a bit pants, if I'm honest. I was like, okay, this isn't really my thing. It's fun for five minutes. And um, we've got the manual in there with, okay, with Cleavage Lady, fine, no problem. I don't think there's anything else in here, is there? No, just the manual, that's absolutely fine. But also, I've come across recently, so I'll take that out of the box now. So, recently I came across, I say recently I came across, I wasn't really in the PS3 thing or the Wii thing. Oh god, this, this is a bad angle. Let me sit up a little. Okay, so I was at, I'll go back to work. So this is on my lunch. Yeah, I've got like two minutes to wrap this up. <clears throat> I came across the whole like PS3 move thing, and I've always assumed, oh, it's just gonna be crap. Whatever. Um, I always thought Wii is a bit naff. I do have a collection for Wii, but ultimately, graphically, a bit naff. I don't mind the fact that you do get the controls, but obviously PS3 came out of that with like the whole move controller and all that kind of stuff. I knew nothing about that. Um, they did do kind of like some gun attachments, so I was like, okay. I collect a little bit of Resident Evil, and I've come across that move edition on PS3, Resident Evil 5 move edition, gold edition, move edition, something like that. I might have that, I need to find that. Um, and I came across the full assault rifle gun, not just a little pistol one, the red and white assault pistol on Vinted for £10. And I could see that it had the controls in them. And now the rifle itself, I believe, is about a £20-£30 thing. Got it, and it came in the original box. By no means mint. The gun itself, pretty dirty and grimy and grubby. And the box pretty battered. But it came in that. So delivered, we're talking from Vinted, plus the fee, plus the post, probably about 14, 15 pounds delivered. And it came with a little navigation control in the gun and the proper actual PlayStation Move control in the gun as well. So jackpot, those things are like five, 10 pound each as well. So that's the kind of thing that I go for. I don't scout Vinted. I don't have that much time or money to be doing these things, but I saw that for a demo. I was like, okay, I'm getting that. Took a chance, came with the controllers already in there. Not tested it because life, <laughs> I either have time for collecting or a little bit of gaming. At the moment, it's collecting bias. And so when I saw this listing, I got the gun I got the gun a few weeks ago, cleaned it up and everything, and I recently then got the camera because the camera's dirt cheap. Um, I then saw this and I thought, oh, that's, that's, that's got to be a move one, right? I can, I can play that with the gun, and the PS3 is naturally going to be much graphically nicer to look at than the Wii. Do it, you know. So, yeah, so... Mm. Not overly disappointed. That was twenty pound, twenty three pound, and some p delivered. I'll keep House of the Dead extended cut. What game was it? The Sims probably not going to be accepted because it's uh, an ESRB. My uh, country's my sport. I'll probably trade that in. I might play it for a bit if I get a chance. PS 4s in the shed, and this time of year it's freezing in here. I've got the heat on, and we've gone from 5 degrees to 16 degrees. And I've been in here for about 40 minutes, so I really do need to go in a minute. So, oh, I'm not sure I'll trade that in. That's £6. 
Tomb Raider, trade that in, six pound voucher. How I how I view CX voucher against real money is gonna be probably an insert into a separate video. Or tagged onto this one because I gotta go. And on that note, it'll be instant for you guys. Assuming I can edit. I'm not sure I can. I don't know, I need to look at the camera. And we're back to finish off our first official game pickup. Um, different day, night time. That's just how this is probably going to happen. Um, but the magic of editing means I can just stitch these together. Happy as anything. Um, I've had a quick look at the values of a few of these games and bits and pieces. I'm going to try and play Gran Turismo Sport. I probably could have just Googled it to see if it's still a thing online to play. Um, I might give that a go. Um, there's a few games that are just worthless, um, you know, 10p, 60p, whatever it might be, as in CX voucher trading, which is just not really worth it. I might as well just put them to the side for now, and if I end up selling a PS3 console or something, they can just go bundled with that. And so I've got a few games that I am going to just trade in. So I've got the Tomb Raider HD trilogy, which is always that was always going to be a duplicate anyway. So a six pound trade in. Ferrari Challenge is like I think it's a pound or a pound sixty. Sega's a pound and Fallout Three I think it's a pound sixty as well. And now if I don't like Gran Turismo, that is I think that's a five pound trade in. And I, I had to look on eBay just to see if because it's got the limited edition kind of sleeve, even though there's nothing else to it, just to see if it was worth a few a few quid more. And it, it's not. It looks like it goes for anything about five to eight pound anyway, so I might as well just trade that straight in and avoid any hassle via eBay um, because it's not got any of the additional content anyway. And unvinted, well, people want games with nothing vinted, it'll probably be like a three pound game, so I might as well just trade that straight in. Um, one happy surprise was the Cloud with the Chance of Meatballs game. Um, CX only sell that for like six pound and give four pound trade, but looking online, that it seems to go. For anything from about eight to eighteen, I don't know why it sometimes goes for about eighteen pound. I mean, very good condition, but at the end of the day, it's just a PS3 game, you know, manual complete, whatever. So I'll move, I'll move the Meatballs game. Cloudy of a chance, me such a mouthful. I'll move the Meatballs game on via eBay or something like that. And um, for now, I'll just assume that hopefully I'll get the eight pound for it. I'll test it to make sure it's working and everything. Uh, I've got trade in initial trade in of about. £10 for those few games there. If I do trade in Gran Turismo as well, that's 5 so that's £15 trade. Hopefully £8 back via eBay or the like. And essentially that makes the House of the Dead Overkill extended cut game for free. Which is perfect, that's generally how I tend to do things. If I can move bits and pieces on or trade them in for voucher or whatever and try and make something out of that bundle that I bought free or a reduced price, and that's perfect. So by no means is that obviously a huge win or any sort of fantastic bargain that I've got, but I, I saw it, took a little bit of a chance on it, just in case that, that Gran Turismo was a still book or something, that would have been nice on the shelf. Um, didn't turn out that it was, but I've come out of it absolutely fine. Um, I'll do my kind of like, what I believe to be or at least how I treat CX voucher versus actual real money. Obviously it's not a one-to-one -one ratio, so £15 voucher and, and then getting back £8, it doesn't mean, you know, all £23 and I've paid £23 therefore completely free game. £15 voucher, you know, you could make £15 voucher from picking up a £2 game somewhere. Um, it's just, it's not the same thing. But I'm absolutely fine with that. And that's probably my little monthly treat or so for now. Uh, yeah, so... So follow me for more videos on things like this. I've got a few more in the pipeline. Nothing on order at the moment. I can only obviously order so many things a month with um, a small amount of disposable or amount of money that I'm willing to put into this um, in order to hopefully get something more back, that kind of thing. Um, we'll talk about uh, how I treat CX voucher, what I might be going for. I have got a few things on my list, but it's, it's changed so many times over the last couple of couple of years. That I've kind of had a list, or oh, I'd really like this, I really like that. And for the most part, it's because I've seen someone else, or someone else's channel, go, oh, I really like this. I'm collecting for this right now, and I've gone, oh yeah, I want to do the same thing. And you know, at the end of the at the end of the day, am I just being a sheep? 
is that why I've suddenly got probably about 300 games of which I might have played 10 of them or whatever. Um, is there a point to it? Is there a point to anything that we do? This is something that I enjoy. But yeah, so that's going to be one little topic, whether it takes up the whole video, who knows. But just to get that content out there whilst we actually get into a little bit more juicy things. As well as looking at the kind of things that I do have at the moment. Uh, specifically the things I collect, I'll go over the, my little 360, a little bit of Mega Drive, a little bit of old PC. Um, Doctor Who, the consoles that I currently have and what I might be looking to get in the future, that kind of thing. So thanks for watching, see you later.